Hey guys, Shauna the Tax Goddess. In our Rule of the Rich video number three, which should be posted here or there or somewhere, um, we talked about using feedback loops. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what is a feedback loop, when and how to use a feedback loop. So looking forward to getting into the details of this awesome business tool. Hey guys, Shauna the Tax Goddess here. If you'd like to learn how Tax Goddess helps six, seven, and eight figure entrepreneurs reduce their tax burdens, grow massive retirement accounts, build their wealth, and of course, save millions of dollars on tax deals, reach out to us at taxgoddess.com. You can book an appointment and speak directly with me. So today we're getting into feedback loops. Now, feedback loops are probably one of my favorite business tools, okay? It's super, super simple simple is good. Uh, it's super, super simple, but really very powerful. So let me give you an example of a feedback loop, right? So let's say we're having a conversation and I say, so what is your favorite animal? And you say, dog. A dog is my favorite animal, which I know you guys know that I have dogs. There's always dogs everywhere. But anyway, dog is your favorite animal. And I go, oh, a dog is your favorite animal. Could you tell me more about that? So that little tiny bit right there, right? You said something, it was very, very simple, right? Did you catch it? You said a dog was your favorite animal. I said, oh, a dog is your favorite animal. Right there, that's a feedback loop. I am telling you in our bit of conversation that I heard what you said and I'm repeating it back to make sure that I understood you correctly. Now, that is a really simple example and I promise that it's not it doesn't have to be that simple. It can be used in very complex situations. So take, for example, a negotiation. You are in a business deal. You're negotiating that deal with somebody sitting across the table. You both have very different opinions, a completely different set of needs that need to be met with this negotiation. In order to help your counterpart understand that you are listening to what they say and you believe it's important what they are saying, because obviously if they're saying it, it's important to them. You can use a feedback loop to confirm what you've heard and to make sure that what you've heard and what they said were the same thing, okay? Because sometimes that's not always true. So let me give you a really good example. You're in a negotiation, we're, we're in that business deal negotiation, and I say, you know, hey, I really think that we need to, you know, work out to get this price to $100,000 for this deal, okay? Now that's a very simple point, right? So you could feedback loop, you know, I heard you say $100,000 is your price point, but that might not be what they actually meant. You heard $100,000, but they could have meant the overall deal, meaning the price could be 80,000, but the add-on bonuses that are not actual dollars could make up the other 20,000 in value. If you don't do the feedback loop, you won't ever know whether that's the situation or not, okay? So feedback loops are extremely powerful. I actually use it in my day-to-day -day interactions in pretty much everything I do. So talking to my family, talking to my clients, uh, working with vendors on the telephone call. You know, the most common way that I'll say it is, hey, let me just make sure I'm understanding you correctly. And then I repeat back what I thought I heard. Because by doing that, it gives them the chance to autocorrect anything that I've said or anything I've repeated back and it really cements the understanding in my own mind of what I thought they said and what they need me to do or vice versa. So Feedback Loop is one of my favorite business tools. I use it all the time. I'd love to hear your examples of a feedback loop, so throw them down below. And uh, yeah, let's chat about feedback loops. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great day and looking forward to talking to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, it's Shauna the Tax Goddess here. Thank you so much for being a part of our Tax Goddess family. Number one, subscribe to our channel and make sure that you click the notification bell. Uh, that way you'll get all of our new videos when they come out. Number two, if you're not sure where to start, but you wanna come learn from my team and I and other like-minded business owners, join our Facebook group. That is Tax Goddess hyphen tax strategies that save entrepreneurs thousands. So definitely check it out. We answer Q and A there all day long, host special Facebook lives, that kind of thing. Now, number three, if you want some help right now, you have a burning issue, you have a major tax bill to pay, <laughs> uh, you didn't do any planning, you need some planning, um, you have a pending deal that's going to happen and you want that planning in advance, 
go to taxgoddess.com. You can book an appointment to speak directly with me or someone else on our professional team to chat about your situation, see what's going on, see how Tax Goddess can help you. So again, thank you so much for being a part of the Tax Goddess family, and I can't wait to chat with you. All right, bye.